Hey, welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to do an example. So we're given a bunch of information about a company. You may want to pause the video and write this information down. And then using this information, we're going to have to find four things. The operating cash flow, the cash flow to bondholders, cash flow to shareholders, and then the change in networking capital. And the first thing you want to do when you run into an example like this, where you're just given a bunch of random information, is you want to try to organize it into financial statements, whether that's the income statement and or the balance sheet. And if you notice in this specific example, most of the information is part of a income statement. We don't have enough information to make a balance sheet, but stuff like sales, cost of goods sold, all these expenses, we can definitely make an income statement with. So taking this information and then creating this income statement. So we had our sales of 200,000. Then from that sales, we subtract our cost of goods sold of 100,000. Then we subtract depreciation and then the other expenses. And then we get earnings before interest and taxes of 84,000. Then from that, we subtract our interest expense of 15,000, which was right here. We get our taxable income of 69,000. And then from the taxable income, we subtract the taxes of 20,000 to get our final net income of 49. Now there's some other information that was given that we weren't able to smoothly organize into financial statements. So like this dividends of $10,000, the fact that the company issued $6,000 in new equity, they redeemed or they paid back $7,000 worth of debt and the net fixed assets increased by 25,000. Even though we can't really organize that, the rest of the information we nicely organize into an income statement, and now we can smoothly get into answering our four questions. Now, the first thing we have to find is operating cash flow, which I put in short form here as OCF. And this formula for operating cash flow you can get from the cash flow overview video that we did when we talked about the cash flow from assets to bondholders and to shareholders. And operating cash flow is equal to the earnings before interest and taxes plus the depreciation minus the taxes. And these figures we can smoothly get from the income statement that we made. So the earnings before interest and taxes is here, this 84,000 plus the depreciation of 9,000, which is here, and then subtracting taxes of 20,000, which is there. Next thing we have to find is the cash flow to bondholders. And we know that that's equal to the interest that the bondholders get minus the net new borrowing, any money that they lend to the company, which would be an outflow for them. Now the interest figure we can get from the income statement, it's here, it's $15,000. And then net new borrowing, let's go into a little bit more detail. We know that net new borrowing is equal to the ending long-term debt minus the beginning long-term debt. Basically, how much did the long-term debt increase? And if you look at the information that we're given, here it says that the company redeemed $7,000 worth of debt. Now this should probably say long-term debt. We can assume that it's long-term debt because debt can be short-term or long-term. And when we're talking about cash flow to bondholders, we're only talking about long-term debt. So assuming that this is long-term debt, the fact that the company redeemed 7,000 means they paid the debt back. They paid $7,000 back to the bondholders. So the long-term debt actually went down. So this ending long-term debt figure is smaller than this beginning long-term debt figure by $7,000. So that bracket there ends up being negative seven. So then 15,000 minus negative 7,000, the two negatives turn into a positive, and then we get a final value of $22,000, which is the cash flow to bondholders. Now, if you want to think about this in a more intuitive way versus going through equations, basically pretend that you're the bondholder. From their perspective, we get $15,000 worth of interest from the company, so that's an inflow to us, and the company is paying back $7,000 worth of principal that we've lent them in the past. So $15,000 worth of interest is an inflow, and then them pay and the company paying us back $7,000 is another inflow. So adding those two inflows together, we would get a net cash inflow coming to the bondholders or coming to us of $22,000. Third thing we have to find is the cash flow to shareholders. And we know that the cash flow to shareholders is equal to the dividends that the shareholders get minus net new equity issued by the company, money that the shareholders have to give to the company, which is an outflow to them. And we can get those figures from the initial information that we were given about the company. 
the company paid dividends of $10,000. So we know that that's a cash inflow to shareholders. And it's also said that the company issued $6,000 worth of new equity, meaning that they took money from the shareholders. And from the perspective of the shareholders, we had to give the company money. So that's an outflow to us of $6,000. So 10,000 coming in, 6,000 going out, the net cash flow to shareholders is $4,000. So summarizing so far what we found, we found the operating cash flow is $73,000, cash flow to bondholders is $22,000, cash flow to shareholders is $4,000, and now what we still have to find is the change in networking capital. And this one's going to be the hardest to find out of all of these because there's going to be a lot of moving parts, there's going to be a lot of algebra, so do your best to follow along. Now hopefully you recognize that the change in networking capital, that's part of the cash flow from assets formula. We know that cash flow from assets is equal to the operating cash flow minus the net capital spending minus the change in networking capital, which is what we're finding. So since we're trying to find that, let's put a variable x there and we're going to have to solve for x. And if we can get these three figures, then it would be easy to solve algebraically. So let's go through them one by one. Let's start with the cash flow from assets. Well, cash flow from assets, we know that there are two formulas. There's this one that we're working with, but we also know that the cash flow from assets is equal to the cash flow to bondholders plus the cash flow to shareholders, and we already know those figures. So cash flow to bondholders is 22,000 plus the cash flow to shareholders, which is 4,000, gives us cash flow from assets of $26,000. So cash flow from assets is $26,000. Moving on to the next piece of the formula, we have operating cash flow. And then operating cash flow, we already solved in part one, and we know that that's 73,000. So this here is 73,000. Moving on to the next piece of the formula, we have net capital spending. And net capital spending, if you remember, it's equal to the ending fixed assets minus the beginning fixed assets plus the depreciation. And the information that we're given in the question is that net fixed assets increased by $25,000. So we know that this portion in brackets here, the ending fixed assets minus the beginning fixed assets, that bracket in the net capital spending formula is going to be $25,000, positive $25,000, because the net fixed assets increased. So $25,000 increase in net fixed assets plus the depreciation of $9,000 that we can get from our income statement, we get net capital spending being a total of $34,000. So taking this $34,000 of net capital spending, plugging it into the formula, now we can solve for x because it's the only variable remaining that's unknown in the equation. So solving for x, we get $13,000 and that represents our change in networking capital. And that is it for the entire question. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.